home and good morning. Uh, El Boaz here. Well, out getting after it as usual. And one of the things that I notice when I go to and fro uh, in this apprentice program from the job site is a whole lot of trees that are just down and out. And they are dead wood. Uh, you know, trees from the ice storm, you know, dead trees that just go ahead and fall over and... You know, it's easy to just go ahead and, and find out who the owner is and ask if you can just cut up these trees. And typically nine times out of ten, it's not going to be a problem at all. They're more than happy to allow you to come in and just just take away all of this brush. You see all of that? Uh, I cut up two large trees. I mean, they were just like from here all the way from here. You can see the indentation and you can see this tree that I've cut up and I've been able to. Uh, get a whole shag of wood. I mean, this is good wood. I mean, if you notice that it just began to rot, but the ma the ma majority of the tree is still good. I mean, this is good firewood, and, and if anything, uh, the fire can eat on the outside perimeter of the tree and begin to, you know, just consume the fire, uh, consume the wood with fire, so that uh, it, 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 it lights real good but the idea is that you know uh, we ran out of probably about three years supply of wood it took me about three and a half years to clear out all of that wood and I plan on doing some uh, uh, moving the wood piles to different stacks next closer to each individual cabin but this is the idea right here I mean you can get this stuff for free all day long uh, especially if you live in an area where it's just nice and wooded um, uh, it's just plenty of wood and all you got to do is just go ahead chop it up and come back and get it so uh, this is what I'm in the process of uh, doing now uh, and I figure for every day uh, that I chop wood it'll probably equate to about a week's worth of wood so if you're out here for five days or ten days or, or you know 15 days worth of uh, 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 chopping and consistently you know, tearing down this dead wood, uh, you know, you can get a couple of years worth of supply, uh, worth of wood. Um, and this is just going to and fro from uh, the job sites. Uh, uh, I figure probably it took me about two hours to do all of that. So, you know, I mean, you can get a fairly decent amount of wood uh, this way. Um, again, uh, all just wood just laying on the floor. So, the idea is that you can do it, and you can do it economically. I mean, it, money does answer all things, but anybody knows, uh, me knows that, uh, you know, listen, I'm going to save a dollar. I know how to stretch a dollar. Uh, oh, brother, I know how to stretch a dollar. I, I'm not a wasteful person at all. So uh, you got to be uh, uh, really uh, uh, efficient in everything that you do. So, you know, when I look at it from a cost-benefit analysis perspective, you know, going to and going fro, it didn't cost me any gas because I'm just stopping along the way. Uh, the wood itself, hey, it's free. All I got to do is just put in the uh, sweat equity to get it. Uh, uh, gas uh, in uh, motor chain oil, hey, you know, that is uh, minuscule. So when you really look at it for, uh, you know, a, a, a rack of wood, you know, it can cost you a buck fifty. But, you know, doing the work yourself, uh, uh, sourcing the material, uh, it's not going to cost you a lot at all. Uh, probably uh, probably five bucks when you really take into consideration all of the costs, which is really just the time to cut up the wood uh, uh, as well as the gas and the motor oil uh, necessary to uh, process it. And then everything else I just split with an axe. Uh, but, yeah, I'm tired. I'm uh, going to have me some lunch. A uh, uh, sandwich and a soda that I bought uh, from home. So, the idea is just about being efficient and, uh, you know, just respecting that uh, dollar. Um, you know, just respecting the money uh, that you got uh, because, you know, uh, you know, you got to be efficient. And especially if you're going to come out here and uh, attempt to, you know, live a separate and set apart life, you got to be efficient with everything that you do. So let me get back to it. And, and oh, the reason why I didn't cut all of this up is because I don't know what nobody just coming by and just uh, snatching up the wood. I got to come by and get the rest of them all because clearly the truck is just loaded down. So I can't fit anything else in there. So 
what I'll do is come back tomorrow, cut up the rest, try and cut up some more, and do this every single day until I, uh, you know, just get uh, the necessary wood uh, that I need. I'll probably will cut down that tree right there. Probably will cut down that tree. Um, you know, chop down some trees as well. He didn't mind, so... The idea is that, uh, you know, all of this stuff can fall under the road and, you know, that's a problem for him. So that's the name of the game. Uh, process as much as you can and uh, just keep it moving. But uh, uh, that's just a, a day in the life of uh, uh, Elder Boaz. Hard work. All right. Shalom.